Welcome to Robinson Foundry. My name's Seth Robinson, and in this video, I'll be casting the inside of a seashell with molten aluminum. These are large marlin spike seashells. I thought it would be a really interesting experiment to try and fill one of these with molten aluminum to capture the detail of the inside of the shell. I really had no idea whether this would work or not, but I thought it would be fun either way. I started by drilling a small hole at the bottom to help with washing it out and to help the metal reach all the way down to the end. I ran some water through the shell to remove any debris that might have been left behind and then used some compressed air to blow out most of the water. Then I let the shell completely dry in the sun for a day. I made sure to cover the openings to prevent sand from getting inside during the next step. To properly fill the shell with metal, I had to make a simple sand mold. After filling the mold box with a special oil bonded sand called Petrobond, I buried the shell in the sand about halfway up. A thin layer of baby powder prevented the two parts of the mold from sticking together. I placed the other half of the mold box on and filled it with sand, but this time I used a little telekinesis to speed up the process. After attaching a cover to one side, I opened the box and started cutting a channel that the metal will flow through, as well as a small channel for air to escape through as the shell is being filled. Then I placed the shell back into the mold, closed it up, and attached a cover to the other side. With the mold finished, it was time to melt some metal. For this casting, I used some scrap aluminum that I had left over from previous projects. This amount took about 20 minutes to melt in my homemade keg furnace. Check these out. My awesome wife put my channel logo on some of my leather gloves, and I think they're so cool looking. Once the metal was melted, I skimmed off the impurities and oxidation that accumulated on top and then filled the mold. After letting the mold cool down for a while, I opened it up to see what the casting looked like. I still needed to break away the shell, but at this point, it looked really promising. I think it's interesting that the heat destroyed most of the shell's color. I was able to break away most of the shell with a hammer, which revealed a pretty cool looking casting. 
but there was still a bunch of shell attached to the casting, so I submerged it in white vinegar overnight to dissolve what remained of the shell. By the way, if you're interested in checking out any of the products used in this video, I'll include affiliate links to most of them in the description. I cut off the excess metal with a hacksaw and then spent a few hours filing everything smooth. Using a die grinder, I polished the metal with a fine abrasive wheel and then used some metal polish to give the casting a mirror finish. This project was a lot of fun, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. We're all used to seeing the outside of seashells, but never the inside. I'm amazed by how symmetrical this thing is. It's interesting that you can see all the way through the center of where the shell would be. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think in the comments, subscribe for future projects, and take a look at some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.